What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video today. I got a video talking about the SO class. Um, as you guys know, I've been making some uh, extra tutorials and today I was, uh, we're going to do a assault guide. Um, I'm on my second account here by the way. No, this is not my main account. I don't have everything unlocked here. Um, just in case you might get confused. Uh, so we're on my second account today, but um, I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks uh, when using the assault class um, I'm going to start with some basic stuff like if you're really new to battlefield explaining what the assault class is for what it does um, and, and later on we're getting into the a little bit more detailed stuff Which is good to know if you're already have some experience for a battlefield uh, So the first thing I want to get into is the assault class is kind of divided by two different type of weapons you have the um, assault rifles, uh, which has the Sturm Gewehr, it has, it's pretty much all the automatic weapons. Uh, the, note the Breda, um, it is a four burst weapon. I would, I would probably put it myself in a semi-auto in terms of how to use the gun, um, but um, it's a four burst weapon. The rest is all automatic and uh, somewhat aggressive. And then the semi-auto is. Um, Pretty, there's a lot of them, but they all pretty much do the same thing, and that's is shoot semi-auto. Um, you all kind of uh, gotta play them the same way. Uh, one can be a little bit more aggressive than the other one. Um, but so there's semi-auto, and there's assault uh, rifles, automatic ones. Um, now the first thing you want to get into is every class has a combat role. Um, every class has two of them. This is important to know. Um, uh, for your playstyle. If you're a little bit more of an aggressive player, more focused on getting the kills and moving forward and um, trying to kill infantry, then you must use light infantry. Um, it's the best way to uh, to play a little bit more aggressive than you normally would. It gives you the two, um, two bonuses right there. It's scavenger trade and battle hardened trade. Um, you find more ammo on fallen soldiers and you gain more health than other combat roles. Um, I think you get 40 extra health instead of 30. Um, so this one is very useful. This is the one I use the most as a, a little bit more of an aggressive assault player. Um, if you're playing maps like Panzerstorm or overall maps with a lot of vehicles like Aerodrome, Panzerstorm, uh, Hamada, uh, you might want to rock Vehicle Buster. Uh, you help your team out a lot with this one. Um, especially spotting them for planes or whatever. Every time you damage a tank, it, the tank automatically gets spotted and it lasts for quite a bit. Um, and it really helps other tanks on your team or planes to eventually finish the job in case you have done a lot of damage. Also for your team as well, uh, for the infantry. You get some bonus um, points when you destroy vehicles as well. Um, so if you're more of a vehicle destroyer, then go for vehicle buster. Um, so yeah, as you can already tell by the combat role, uh, the assault class is mainly a class that's focused on destroying vehicles. Uh, but it, it's like kind of a, in between a, a medic as well. You can be very aggressive with the assault class, play a little bit more aggressive, but you can also destroy vehicles, which the medic class can't. Um, now what's important is the gadgets. You get three gadgets. Um, one is a grenade. Um, what I personally always like to use is uh, there's like two different type of gadgets I personally like to use in, in terms of a combo. You want to make sure that um, the gadgets you're using, um, that they help each other out. So in case you want to destroy a tank, what I like to use in case you're more of a, on the map with more tanks, I like to rock the anti-tank bundle. Um, then it is either Pied or Panzer. Uh, I think the Pied overall does more damage, uh, but the Panzer is easier to hit. And on very long range weapons, you want to use the Bazooka. The Bazooka does the least amount of damage, but this thing is an absolute laser beam. You can across the map hit uh, tanks with the Bazooka easily. So on a little bit more open maps, you want to use the Bazooka, and otherwise you're going to stay between the Pied and the Panzer Faust. Um, I guess the pants is gonna maybe be a little bit more better for tanks because it's easier to hit them. And then uh, you rock dynamites. Um, if you're gonna be a little bit more focused on killing the infantry, you wanna change the the anti-tank grenade to either the frag or the incendiary. I, I personally prefer the frag over incendiary because you kind of block yourself with incendiary grenades sometimes as well as you run through your own fire. Um, 
so I prefer the frag because of that. Then I always use the pied. Pied is better uh, against infantry. That's good to know. It's uh, way better for its infantry. And then you can either pick the dynamite or the frag grenade rifle. You can also obviously use these things, but if you want to be the most like efficient for your team, these two are the best. Um, with dynamites, you got to be a little bit handy with them. They can be quite sticky. They stick to everything really easily. And um, if you're good with dynamites, you can throw them very far. Uh, but otherwise, the frag grenade rifle is a very good option to kill infantry as well. Um, now, for the assault class, um, as I said earlier, you have two type of guns, which is the assault, um, the assault rifles and the semi rifles. Um, two have different, uh, have very different uh, play styles. What you always gotta make sure with the assault class is that um, unless you're using a gun like the Sturm or the M1907, which are two of um, probably the most aggressive weapons, uh, you got the Sturm M1907. Uh, the M2 Carbon is all very aggressive. You can be aggressive with SCT, but these these three are definitely the most um, aggressive ones. Um, if you're not using any of these guns, you gotta try and play a little bit more passive. Um, the reason for this is that you only have one heal in this game. And um, all the assault rifles, they will be very effective from 50 meters, which is quite a bit of distance. So you always want to make sure you're in range within 50 meters of the enemies, but never be up too close because medics will beam you up close. So play a little bit more passive. Try and stay around your team. Um, not too much on your own unless uh, you're, you're confident with the class. Um, otherwise, stay with your team. Play a little bit passive, especially with the semi-autos. It's uh, these, these guns, especially Guerre 43. Uh, the ATM as well, uh, what gun as well, the Carabin M1 Grand, these guns can beam up close, like the, these guns can outplay uh, snipers, so you want to keep your distance. Um, the problem with the semis is they're extremely bad up close, If unless you have a very fast trigger finger, you want to try and avoid up close range gunfights, so keep your distance a little bit, try to make sure you still, you know, are helpful for your team, so if you got to push up, you got to push up. Uh, switch to a gun like the Sturm or the M2 Carbine, whatever. These guns are very good up close, um, but uh, try and keep your distance. Make sure you position yourself in a smart way, um, not too open to where snipes will beam you, and don't get too close because then medics will um, outgun you really easily. Um, now, what's important with the Soul class is the specializations. People always ask me for specializations. Um, but this is really up to you. As I said, with the assault class, you can play aggressive, especially with guns like the Sturm. Uh, but you you kind of want to play like like in between passive and aggressive. I'd like to say. Um, so make sure you um, change the specializations to w the way you're going to play with the gun or to what map you're going to play. Let's take an example. Um, we have the Guerre 43 which has um, two ways of playing, um, uh, two ways of making a specialization. I mean, there's there's a couple of different ways you can go. Um, the way I have it right now is the more aggressive way. Now I have the gun ready to where it's going to be good for um, up close range gunfights as well. Um, but you can also obviously take out um, players from a longer range. If you're good with control and recall, then I would su suggest going this way. Well, it's a little bit more aggressive. Um, the quick aim, obviously, hip fire and the detachable Mac, which is important if you're in close range situations, you wanna be able to reload fast and then you have the recoil buffer. You can either use one of them. I like the recoil buffer over this one because I'm not always uh, stationary. If you're going for a little bit more long range gunfights, you wanna try and um, change your specializations uh, to the right side. Um, you can always still pick uh, this one over the other one. Uh, but light and stock, custom stock, um, high velocity bullets, those are all made to play a little bit more passive. Th these are made to pre-aim around corners, uh, play a little bit more slower, and um, it will allow you to win a lot of gunfights because pre-aiming and light and stock with custom stock, it's a really overpowered combo. Um, so if you're a little bit more of a slower player, then I suggest you taking uh, like definitely these two. 
specializations because pre-aiming in this game is really overpowered especially when you only have one heal you want to make sure you don't take too much damage um, so yeah change the specializations way as for every class i'm not going to show this for every class um, for the sturm it's it can be handy you see it's it's the exact same way with the sturm if you're a little bit more aggressive uh, you can go all left. I personally would still prefer quick aim over quick reload, but it's like kind of a personal thing. Um, so if I would play very aggressive, I would probably... I could still pick line, uh, line stock over recoil buffer. It kind of depends, again, if your recoil control is good. Um, and if you want to get a little bit more range out of your gun, then this is the... Um, uh, this is the way I use my Sturm. This gives it a little bit more range. Uh, you gotta watch out with up close range gun fights. Like the hip fire is extremely bad. Um, but yeah. So always make sure you change your specializations to the map and your playstyle. Um, so that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, these are the main um, tips I can give you as an assault player. Um, again. There is no best way to have specializations or there's no best gun in the assault class. Every gun has its own playstyle. Um, again, with the semis, you want to be a little bit more passive and with the assault rifles, you can be a little bit more uh, aggressive. Um, with the assault rifles, it's going to be tough to play sometimes um, since uh, you're going to be rushing up and you only have one heal. Um, but yeah, hopefully the tutorial was helpful. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.